Hello and welcome to another edition of the program, The Realization of a Dream, the coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is an awareness building and sensitization program produced by the Agency for Public Information in collaboration with the Office of the Prime Minister and Temple Cable Television Network. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am pleased to be joined by the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister of St. Vincent Town, the Grenadines, the Honorable Sir Louis Straker. On our program today, he will speak to us in his capacity as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Trade and Consumer Affairs. Minister, thank you for joining us and welcome. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a bit about the Argyle International Airport and how do you feel as Minister uh, with the opening of the airport cutted for the 14th of February? Well, as a person, I am delighted that the airport has finally come on stream. As the Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Trade and Commerce, I am extremely happy that this would bring a lot of benefits to St. Vincent. First of all, in the diplomatic field, we have to realize that some we were marginalized somewhat because of the lack of access to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to have our diplomatic allies come to this country. In many cases, they had to go to Miami, the United States, and then come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines via Barbados or Trinidad. This kind of uh, hopping over from one island to the other created a problem and was a deterrent to having many of our diplomatic allies coming here. Now we are open to the rest of the world and you can have direct flight from London, you can have direct flight from Canada, you can have direct flight from the United States. So we have easy access that we can really strengthen our diplomatic relationship with countries abroad. Not only strengthen those with whom we have relations, but also expand our diplomatic relationship with all countries in the world. So in that regard, we are opening up for a, a, a wider field of uh, diplomatic relations with countries all over the world and have that kind of exchange, not only among diplomatic uh, allies, but the peoples of the world can come here. Uh, in the field of trade, I would say that um, many times we could not even dare to think of our products going abroad. Some of our people had entered into the, the, the produce being traded abroad and by transshipment, things like breadfruit or other ground provision, they, were, they got ripe and rot before they actually got to their destination. Now we can have our produce shipped directly by plane in a quick time to the rest of the world without, with less uh, damage to them. And of course, things like flowers or other pr uh, produce, the farmers would be benefited greatly, our fish to the European Union and to the United States. We can have easy access to those countries. So in terms of trade, this is a developmental issue. We have placed a launching pad from which every sector of our economy, speak nothing of tourism, we were cut off in many cases by having tourists here. You realize that when the, the tourist ships go to St. Lucia, they, if they get into a um, in plane to the international airport in St. Lucia, sometimes they have to take the bus for a long trip to the other airport if they're going to be transshipped again to the smaller islands. So we have an international airport and we should be able to capture part of that market where the boats can come here it's a very short distance from here to Argyle International Airport and tourists can take that easy access to the international airport if they have to fly back to their countries and also in terms of um, conferences we can make St. Vincent and the Grenadines a destination for hosting large conferences that's why we are inviting our local uh, entrepreneurs and foreign direct investment to invest in good resorts, good hotels here, so that we can make this a conference center, Confer build up our conference tourism and have people come in here to have conference and therefore increase the tourism dollar, which already is our largest foreign exchange owner. So I am extremely happy that we are going to be in a position 
where we can use the Argyle International Airport to the benefit of every single Vincentian. The farmer, the fisherman, the average person on the street, the artisans, everybody can be benefited by it and therefore it's a great, great boon. I would appeal to every single Vincentian, whether you support the government or not, whether you're in opposition or in government, we all should be rejoicing that we have an international airport. You're going to see your loved ones from the foreign countries come back here more often because it was a deterrent to have them, some of them who are not very mobile, come in from England or the United States or Canada because um, of, of the sitting down in Barbados or Trinidad for a long period of time. Now they can fly directly home and they can come any time of the year they want to. So it would be a great benefit to us here in St. And that's why we call for unity. We call for all of us to come together in celebration of what we have, the greatest accomplishment of any government that we have ever seen in the history of this country. Now is no time for partisan bickering. Now is a time for us to come together because all of us would be benefiting. Could you? Yes. I should also say the economic development of our country. As you know, we have very high unemployment here. And with the International Airport, we are beginning to see that tourism would be increased, foreign, foreign direct investment would be increased, and that is why we have sent a person like Miss Black, Miss Ambrose Black, as our investment and trade development officer in National Airport that could put us in contact with the rest of the world. The rest of the world would have access to us so that they, we don't have to tell them, well, you'll have to go to Barbados and wait there for five hours or go to Trinidad and wait there for five hours. We can tell them they can fly directly from the major uh, metropolitan areas of the world, London, New York, Miami, and uh, Toronto, and they can come here. I would feel very happy and proud on the 14th of, uh, of February, when the planes start coming down, I'll be singing, fly low, sweet chariot. And I wish that all of us could experience that, that ecstatic moment. We would never be able to recapture that again in our history, in our experience. This is a once in a lifetime experience when all of us see those planes come in, even though they are chartered flights. They come in and we, we would have to pinch ourselves and ask whether we have indeed arrived at the point where people can come from Canada, the United States and England and can fly directly here and vice versa. I should also say the economic development of our country. As you know, we have very high unemployment here. And with the International Airport, we are beginning to see that tourism would be increased, foreign, foreign direct investment would be increased, and that is why we have sent a person like Miss Black, Miss Ambrose Black, as our investment and trade development officer in uh, New York, where she can make the contact with the various countries of the world, their embassies there, their missions to the United Nations, and begin to work hard for us for economic development of this country so that the unemployment rate would go down, our people would experience a higher standard of living. Thank you very much, Minister. And as he rightly says, what a glorious day it is going to be come February 14th in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's really an opportune time for you to be a part of this historical moment. This has been another presentation of the program, The Realization of a Dream, the coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Joining me on today's program was Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Trade and Commerce in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Until next time, I'm Dion John. Have a great day. St. Vincent, my homeland, you gave me no mansion. No gold, no diamond, yet I love you a million For the things that you have to offer Is more than my heart's desire Lovely beach, drive
tropical breeze Always there Within my reach I love you, St. Vincent